I'm beginning the review for chapter 12 and I'm going to start with just going problem by problem and I'll explain what I mean sort of like the quizzes I'm going to tell you the first problems relate to a kind of problem and we'll go from there but I am going through the review section of the chapter so just knowing numbers one two and three where it says copy and complete a something of a hyperbola is a line that the hyperbola approaches doesn't intersect. So number one is a something of a hyperbola is a line that the hyperbola approaches but doesn't intersect. So I'm just gonna draw that and I want you to answer that in your heads. But in, while I'm drawing it, I'm gonna draw those lines the hyperbola approaches but doesn't intersect right here. And I'm going to draw the branches of the hyperbola. And the lines that the hyperbola approaches but doesn't intersect are called the asymptotes. So, and this is branches. You just need to remember what they're called. Okay, number two says, explain how you can use the least common denominator to solve a rational equation. So to explain that, you're saying how can you use the LCD to solve a rational equation. And essentially it is the same way you've always done with the fractions. Say you have one over x plus two plus three over x minus four. The LCD or the least common denominator is going to be x plus two x minus 4. So you multiply top and bottom by each and you end up with x minus 4 plus 3 times x plus 2 over x plus 2 x minus 4. Because you've multiplied this by x minus 4 over x minus 4 and you've multiplied this by x plus two over x plus two. And then you just simplify, okay? I'm not gonna do it because we've answered the question, right? You multiply, you find what the least common denominator is, and you multiply top and bottom by whatever it is that will make the least common denominator, okay? Third question, identify the vertical asymptote and horizontal asymptote of, well, it's fitting that it's right under here, y equals negative 5 over x plus 2 minus 4. So they're asking, identify the vertical and horizontal asymptote. Now, this is incredibly important. I'm glad we're going through this. This is the value k in the equation, and this makes it go up and down. Up if it's positive, and down if negative. Okay? This number makes it go right and left. Right if negative and left if positive. You have to remember this. Write it down somewhere. I'm gonna let you use that on the test, but you have to write that down somewhere. So what does that mean? Well, on a graph, and we're not gonna do the whole graph, 
We're just gonna do enough to write down those asymptotes. This is negative four, so it's going to be down four. So one, two, three, four, negative four down there. So I'm gonna draw this in red because it's taking that graph down by four units. And so that's, this asymptote is down here. It's down because it moves essentially the x-axis down. Okay, but it's obviously it's a horizontal line, so it's the, it's the horizontal asymptote. Even though it moves the graph down vertically. And this one over here, because it's positive, goes left. Okay, so if it's going left, it's negative one, negative two, left from center. So here is the other one, and it's two to the left. And because of that, it's at negative two. It's the vertical asymptote, because obviously, Right? It's moving the y-axis, basically, or the equivalent of the y-axis left. So it's the vertical asymptote. Okay, so that's the introduction. I'm going to stop there, and I'm going to start on 12.1 next.